Tonight I was listening to President, uh, the former President of Iran, uh, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, and I find him really enjoyable to listen to. I don't really know a whole lot about his past and his political history very much, but um, I find that he has a real humanist approach to uh, to politics and to the world, and um, he's kind of inspiring. Now, I know Iran has its problems, just like any other country, but um, and unfortunately, at the present time, um, the United States is actually trying to drum up a war with Iran. I wouldn't even be surprised in the next few days if there's some sort of a false flag, but these days they don't even need to have any kind of event like 9-11 to bring in endless wars and stuff or um, crushing civil liberties and all of that. They just, you know, they have other ways of doing that now, but um, it just looks like Donald Trump wants to try and bring in a war with Iran or on Iran rather to uh, before he leaves office. Unfortunately, now that Silicon Valley has, um, you know, sort of suppressed his ability to talk to people, we don't know what he's up to, but going by what uh, Mike Pompeo said the other day, and I showed an excerpt of his uh, speech where he's um, he's rattling sabers at Iran and basically saying that Iran is the basically the source of uh, al-Qaeda now, is the base for al-Qaeda. The lies that come out of the U.S. national security state uh, trying to start up wars with uh, different countries. And so President Ahmadinejad was talking about that um, in his interview with uh, Ashin Ratansi on Going Underground on RT. So I'll leave a link to that. But I wanted to just... Pull out, I pulled out a particular two minutes that um, um, he spoke about his approach to the world and what he wanted for the world. Um, and I think that's it's something that I noticed that he tends to do any time he's interviewed, which is very rare in the Western media, but um, Ash and Ratansi and uh, Going Underground are kind of a lefty sort of a program on RT, so they tend to give uh, people like that an airing. There's something that I did want to say that you never ever hear in mainstream in corporate media, and that is that um, Iran, it's actually against, because it's an Islamic Republic, it's actually against their beliefs to, um, use, to use nuclear weapons and develop nuclear weapons or, chem, you know, or chemical weapons, any weapons of mass destruction. They're actually against it. They could have already, if they wish to, have created um, nuclear weapons um, a long time ago if they, if they really wanted to, but they because of their beliefs, that's something that they are opposed to. And when um, Iraq, Iraq, with the backing of the U.S., uh, was dropping chemical weapons on Iran, um, you know, they they weren't retaliating, even though you'll sort of see that in the corporate media that Iran was also using chemical weapons. That's not the case. Um, so that's something we need to keep in mind when we hear how, you know, all this corporate media propaganda that Iran is going to develop nuclear weapons and then it's going to make everything disable, every all around Western Asia is going to be destabilized because of Iran developing nuclear weapons. That's not going to happen because they are actually against those kinds of weapons. So um, anyway, we need to, as much as possible, support our Iranian friends um, and uh, because they are in the crosshairs of U.S. empire and have been for a very long time, but it's looking more and more like something disastrous is going to happen either under Trump or possibly later on with Biden because as um, as um, the former president is aware that this uh, the U.S. national security state and all their warmongering activities, their imperialist aims, run like a seamless thread through these different administrations. Uh, thanks for watching. Check out this next uh, two-minute excerpt. I think you might enjoy it. My name is Trish Roberts. Till next time. Bye for now. Let me share my message with your viewers. The situation that the world is currently in is beneath any human being. More than half the world population lives in poverty. And the majority of the world's population lives under security threats and military pressure. The monopoly of power, wealth and media has robbed nations and the masses of opportunities. Today, the world is being managed according to the principles of political Darwinism. What that means is that for some to be strong, others would have to be weak. For some to be affluent, others should be poor. For some to have dignity, others should be humiliated. This ideology is anti-human and has turned the world into a place where an arms race has jeopardized everyone's security and led to a significant share of a nation's resources and wealth being spent on the purchase of armaments. And weapons have no other use than killing humans.
I'm opposed to this world management model and believe that all nations and human beings can live in friendship, peace and brotherhood. Absolutely no one should be seeking hegemony over others or plundering others' wealth. We should all endeavor to ensure the dignity of each and every member of humanity, for them to equally benefit from God-given natural wealth, and for no one to be dominated by another. We have to build a world where each human being can have dreams, where those dreams are materialized, and where they can unlock the endless talents that God has bestowed upon them. A world where people serve each other, where they are friends with one another, and where they are each other's companion.